Hey Cancer, welcome to your November 2024 general tarot reading. My name is Stacy. Let's take a shuffle here and see what energies might be coming up for you this month, Cancer. And keep in mind these are general, general readings, so I don't anticipate they'll resonate with each and every one of you. So take what resonates, leave the rest. And if you'd like a personal reading tailored to you, for you, all about you, you can get in touch with me on my website. And I'll be sure to put the link to that in the description box below. Also, Cancer, thank you so much for liking my videos, sharing out my videos and content, and also subscribing to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I send the love back to you tenfold. So thank you so much for that, Cancer. Also, please watch for your uh, sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign, or any other planet placement point that you have in cancer uh, so you can pull together all the information for the month of november and it'll paint you a high level holistic overview of what november could bring you all right cancer so let's get started here we all already had a card pop out here i'm going to chat about that in a second because it is connected to mars and mars just happens to be in your sign cancer for the next oh i don't know six months or so <laughs> So we will talk about that, and I'm also going to make a separate video uh, about Mars retrograde as well. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, let's start with this Tower card. Very, very interesting. And like I said, you just can't make this stuff up because this is the card of Mars. So this is sudden change, sudden opportunity cancer that could be coming your way this month. Um, you know, for this, I'm feeling actually a little bit of a... a dusted faded feel to it uh, a dusting of fate I don't know why I said dust anyway they're saying like a, a dusting <laughs> of fate uh, almost like the wheel of fortune card here as well now for some of you this could be a sudden like split of a job of a relationship of a whatever this is like a contract agreement negotiation marriage whatever this is there's no going back so just keep that in mind um Mind you, anything that happens during Mars retrograde sometimes does come back around, especially if it's regarding relationships. But regardless, this is about you. This is about Mars firing you up for many, 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 many months to come. So pace yourself and give yourself grace, Cancer. Um, also take care of your health and well-being because Mars, Mars being in your sign too can bring a lot of inflammation. Uh, so make sure you're drinking a lot of water, you're getting those electrolytes maybe doing some sort of therapy with water, like taking salt baths or hot tubs, or well actually no, hot tubs might uh, fire you up even more. But again, like spas, saunas, things like that. Um, yes, I understand there's heat involved, but they're also showing me you might need to incorporate cooling techniques as well, because Mars makes us all a little hot under the collar, if you know what I mean. So, um, Anyway, I love that. I love it when the cards uh, match up with the astrology that's going on in the sky as well. So I love that. Another thing I noticed is you have three major arcana showing up here. Um, that tells me this could be quite an impactful month ahead for you, Cancer. Big life themes could be coming up, meaning all walks of life could be coming up. So as I already mentioned with that Mars card, Mars being in your first house, is going to put extra emphasis on, um, again, anything to do with relationships or how you relate one-on-one -on -one with people. This could be in love, work, business. Um, even if you're retired, it doesn't matter. It's what do you do on a day-to-day -day level? Do you go to a, a class? Do you teach? Are you a coach, mentor? Um, do you help out family? Do you watch the grandkids? Things like that. Do you walk dogs? Do you, you know, pet sit, house sit, things like that. It's whatever you do on a day-to-day -day basis. I feel like this could be up for some review, revision at this time. Also changes in habits, routines, exercise regimes as well, but don't hurt yourself, Cancer, because I feel like you might also feel like a rock star with Mars being in your sign for so long. You're gonna feel like a bodybuilder when maybe you gotta start with the one pound weights first before you make it up to the 50 pound dumbbells, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, so I heard a couple messages here, Cancer. You're on the right path, I heard. Um, I got the message of 1111. So, you know, if, if, you, if you're if you one that sees that, that's awesome. 
but I'm seeing 1111. I'm hearing you're on the right path and there, there's also going to be a victory this month, um, whether this is you or a family member. Uh, the moon card is here, which I love. It technically represents Pisces, but I mean, you are ruled by the moon cancer. Um, there might be something you're not seeing quite clearly this month. So if you do have to sign on the dotted line or do any, like I said, contractual agreements or anything like that, just make sure you don't regret it. Um, especially, you know, as I mentioned, you're, you're going to be fired up over the next several months so just be sure you're not burning bridges cutting ties because i feel like some of you will which is okay that's part of your path but for some of you this is going to be coming back around at a later time in 2025 so uh if you're signing on the dog line with any big purchases or any big investments just make sure your t's are crossed your i's are dotted you get professional advice before you move forward with anything, or again, cutting ties is going to be, I'm hearing that loud and clear for you this month. Something about be mindful of who you cut ties with or who you burn bridges with, which is fine. Like it, it is what it is. If you have to do it, you have to do it, but just know it might not be permanent and it might come back around, whatever that means. Yeah, whatever that means. I don't mean to doom and gloom it, but I mean, you might, it, this opportunity might come back around at a later time. Um, so you just don't want to taint it. Like it's kind of hard to hard to explain, but just be careful of what you're buying into at this time or listening to at this time. They're also sharing with me as well. Um, I love this. This is taking a leap of faith on love. I absolutely love this. Yeah. And for those of you that are not looking to date or, or find somebody, um, you know, take this as business or career or hobby or diving into new projects or anything, anything along those lines. Um, this could also be making a decision with a relationship, which I feel like I kind of already covered there about severing ties and things like that. You'll want to do a lot of cutting away with Mars in your sign for a very long time as well. So that makes sense. Endings and new beginnings and taking that leap of faith. But again, you know, I have to say it, don't break the bank. Don't um, rush into anything, you know, and if anyone's pressuring you or pushing you, step back and ask why, you know, ask them why, ask yourself why, why is this rushed? You know, I get it if it's an emergency, but I mean, not everything in life is an emergency, right? Um, or, or if one of your good friends or colleagues or something is asking you for like $15,000, and they expect you to give you an answer on the spot. I don't know. I think I would gut check that if I were you, Cancer. If you have the means, absolutely. If you're financially well off, absolutely. Because I feel like that could also be coming. A lot of people coming to you for help or assistance or money. Cancerians, this happens quite often. But just um, know your audience, they're saying. You know, even if it is family that's asking you for this. Like, it's okay to ask why or the why in it, right? Because I feel like once you do that, you're like, you're just going to keep doing this, right? Whether it's money, resources, your time, your efforts, your energy, like what is all that worth, Cancer? So just always keep that in mind. But yeah, for those of you single looking to mingle, absolutely, it could be full on with love this month. And um, again, it could be quite faded. Like you might be in the right place at the right time, I feel like. Okay, these cards here... Um, I'm not, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a big fan about this. This is about loss and grieving um, and worry all mixed up in a big ball of yarn. So I don't like this energy cancer. So um, this could go so many different ways. So this could be like a Demi, a Debbie Downer moody day that you're going through. Uh, this is more so could be at the end of the month uh, where your energy is just, I don't know, people suck the life out of you. I'm not really sure. But it's sort of like a poor me moment mixed with worry and fear and anxiety. So cancer, like, and, and it's okay. Like, stay in that space. If you need to grieve something, if, if you've lost something or someone, that, that's, you know, that's fine. Give yourself to grieve. But don't let it consume you, they're showing me. Like, I, I can see your emotions taking over you this month. Don't let that happen. Like, notice what you're noticing. Snap out of it. Go for a walk, get out, focus on something else, 
pick up an old hobby or an old book or something that you haven't finished. Um, I don't know, putter around the house. Just dig. like keep your mind and your hands busy, they're showing me. Because you might get in this like Debbie Downer mentality at the end of the month. So now you're going to turn around this energy. Now you can turn around this energy. So, but I'm not saying, again, grieve grieve the loss, whatever you need to move through, feel those emotions. Absolutely. But just don't stay there. That's my only ask cancer this month is just don't stay there and don't let people, don't allow people to drag you into that either. Like poor me, poor me. You need to sit here and cry with me and you need to support me and you need that. No, like, I mean, there's a time and a place, right? And there's nothing wrong with giving, holding space for other people. But you don't have to stay there for weeks and weeks and months and months and months with this person. Like, put up put up those boundaries, Cancer. I feel like that's another thing. Your boundaries might be tested this month. Um, which, again, is not a bad thing. That's just part of the lessons, right? But, um, not a, again, not a bad energy. I just feel like that's just kind of a heads up of if you feel yourself going down that rabbit hole... Um, or if you feel like the people around you are pulling you into that rabbit hole of like depression and worry and anxiety and fear, you need to pull yourself out of that cancer. Um, cause I don't think anyone else is going to do it. You have to do that. Put your focus on something else. I don't even care if it's doing the laundry, doing the dishes, I don't know, vacuuming, just something mundane around the house. Um, especially for those of you that aren't working, I feel like this is going to be more of a challenge. For those of you that are working, again, this could be even people in the workplace pulling you down with gossip and just stupid crap and poor me, poor me. Um, yeah, you might need to pull yourself out of the trenches because you deserve better cancer and you don't have time. Like you just don't have time for stuff like that. So anyway, anyway. Let's pull you, I'm going to pull a couple Oracle cards here for you. Okay, look at this. You got miracles and you got trust. And I love that for you, Cancer. So this is about um, any messages you get, any intuitive hits you get when you look at these two cards. The, the imagery, the words, the colors, um, anything like that. Cancer, if you can travel this month um, or next month, I think that will be beneficial as well. Um, for you, actually, I'm feeling it could be a hot or cold climate. It doesn't matter. I think you getting away out of the workplace, out of the home, uh, maybe away from the family if you can, giving yourself a spa day, I think that would be really beneficial for you. Again, any sort of water treatments or therapies uh, that we talked about earlier on, I think would be beneficial for you too. And anything else that jumps out at you with these cards, if it's positive, that's your message. If it's negative, uh, that's not your message. That's your mind taking over and the mind chatter stepping in. So just know, yeah, I love the miracles card. Like I, did I mention, yeah, right place in the right time I'm picking up for you too, Cancer. So, um, some of you, I feel like you could also be a blessing for your loved ones this month, if I didn't already mention that. But anyway, Cancer, I wish you a wonderful November, and we'll see you back here next month. Bye for now.